let's talk about this experience at the uh, Bar Barstool Barn Burner Classic. Mm -hmm. uh, before we actually get into the experience itself, how did you how did you get wind of this? How did you get wind of this I, wind of this uh, experience? Even, and just and and tell us through the process. I, how honestly, I, I don't even know how I got picked. Um, <laughs> there were let's just say a lot of applicants, and for some reason they wanted me, uh, a sophomore at the college that I didn't even make the baseball team at. So <laughs> I'm very, I'm very confused as well. So I have basically <laughs> no advice to give to people that want to do it in the future because I don't well, know. I, I got well, I, but, 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 but not, besides that, just take us to the, take, take us to the process. How did you find out about the, the, this uh, experience? How'd you, how'd you apply? How did you, how did they notice you? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm a fan of the, the podcast that Jared and Dallas run uh, starting nine through Barstool. So I listened to that like when I would do deliveries for uh, Jimmy's, but um, Jimmy. like I was just, I was listening to the podcast one day and they were like, yeah, we're, we're doing this thing in July at uh, the field of dreams. And I was like, well, I mean, I've always wanted to play there. So, I mean, why not? It's like every baseball player's dream to play at that field. And, uh, I mean, they had, like, a link to go to to, like, submit an application. You had to, like, say stuff about you and, like, how old you were, stuff like that. And, like, then you had to attach a video at the bottom. And my video was from, I think, a year and a half ago during, like, when COVID first started. And it was a video that I sent to a few colleges for, like, baseball recruitment. And, like, I don't even pitch like that anymore. Like, in the video, I throw, like, over the top up here. But now it's, like, I come out here and towards the side more. So, like, but they were, like, yeah, we're going to have a live draft and just send an email, you know, if we pick you on the draft, then you're in. If not, then, like, good luck next year. So um, I, I put the video in. And then, like, a month and a half later, like I totally even forgot about the draft. Like I didn't <laughs> even watch it the night that they did it live. And I, I go in my email for some reason and I see an email from Bryn Foley, the the nice woman that was uh, managing it for Jared and Dallas, like doing all the emails and stuff like that, mm -hmm. like the behind the scenes type stuff. Yeah. So I see an email from her and I'm like, who's this? Like, I don't, I don't know a Bryn. And it was like, hey, you're did the. Did it show up in your person. regular? No, let me ask you. Did you show up in your regular inbox or did it show up in your spam? No, my regular inbox. But I'd okay, never check my you. email, especially over the summer, because like I don't, I don't need to. Like, I'm not in school in summer. Like I check it maybe like once a week. So I just happen to check it that night, and I see the email, and it's like, hey, you're the only one that hasn't responded to the uh, barstool barn burner thing. Are you gonna come? And I was like. That, that's weird. Like I put my application like a month and a half ago for that. Like, you gotta be kidding me, lady. Go get out of here. <laughs> yeah. And, and then I scroll up in the email and I see there was a prior email saying, Hey, um, you've been selected for team starting nine in the Barstool Barn Burner. Um, please let us know as soon as possible if you can like attend this. And I was like, What? <laughs> like, are you kidding me? And I, I literally was on PlayStation with one of my friends. And I was just like, dude, I got to go. Like, some some weird shit just happened to me. And, <laughs> and he was like, dude, you got to tell me. I was like, I'll just call you later, all right? Like, bye. I ran downstairs, and I was like, mom and dad, like, we got to go to Iowa in July. Like, they were like, they didn't even know I applied for this thing. They were like, what, what are you talking You're about? Completely like, in the dark. In, oh, what's gosh. in Iowa? And I was like, the barstool barn burner. And they were they asked me like all these questions. They were like, Oh Is this even a real thing. Like Oh, I gotta tell you the story. So I'm on the <laughs> lawn that I probably the same day that you, you found out. I was on the think lawn. It was. it was that it was at night, right? Like yeah, around dinner yeah. time. And, and I I just I just finished up mowing the lawn. Yeah. And I got a text message from your mom. He's like, Can you please call can you please call your brother about Barstool? I'm like, What? <laughs> so I call your dad. I don't know why she wanted me to call. I don't know why your mom wanted me to call your dad. I don't even know. Apparently, I'm, he, he trusts me more than she does. So 
<laughs> so I, it all, I think it all goes back to the chili comment. You, you the comment you made about my chili during the first podcast you made. <laughs> <laughs> like, you like mine better. But <laughs> so I talked to your dad. I talked to your dad, and, and I'm walking him through the whole thing. I'm like, he's like, oh, Christian applied for this bar stool barn burner thing. Do you know about this? I go, no, I, I don't know anything about it at all. Because yeah, we get selected to play the uh, Field of Dreams in Iowa. I'm like, are you kidding me? Let's go. So your